Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maribel and I'm a personal trainer. Today I have a squat rack only full body workout. This workout is perfect for anyone who is super shy or anyone who doesn't like to move around in their gym or somebody who loves squat rack like me. So without making you wait any longer, let's get right into this video. And as always, we start with a warm up. Warming up before any physical activity is super important to prepare your muscles and joints. So we're gonna start with forward leg swings. I want you to do around 10 to 15 swings on each leg. If you need an extra support, feel free to stand next to a wall or any stable surface. Swing one leg forward and backwards with control. We're moving on to feet circles. Feet circles are a great way to improve your ankle flexibility and also warm up that muscle that we usually don't. So what I want you to do is perform circles in a clockwise direction for about 10 to 15 seconds. As you rotate your ankle, you should feel a gentle stretch in the muscles and tendons around your ankles and foot. Anything else, you should stop and be more gentle moving on to low squat hold lower into a squat position and hold it for 30 seconds focus on keeping your back straight and your chest up feel the stretch in your hips and thighs remember if you feel any pain or discomfort adjust the range of motion accordingly Warming up help us improve flexibility, increase blood flow, and reduce the risk of injury. Moving on to arm circles. I always add arm circles to all of my programs because I'm trying to work on my shoulders mobility as well as flexibility. I want you to always make sure to keep your spine straight and your shoulders relaxed. Make sure that you don't force your shoulders into uncomfortable position always listen to your body then we have chest stretch with arm swings send your arms straight out to the sides of your shoulders height open your chest by squeezing your shoulder blades together this movement could also be done by laying on your back we're gonna move to low squat with resistant band focus on maintaining good form throughout the exercise make sure that the resistant band is tight but not too tight to allow you for a natural range of motion if you have any discomfort or pain adjust the band tension or the depth of your squat. This exercise target your lower body muscles and add an extra challenge with the resistant band, making it a great addition to your warm up routine. I wanna bring up depth. Everyone's depth is extremely different, so go as low as your flexibility allows you to. Last thing is your knee alignment. Pay attention to your knee alignment. They should track over your toes and not collapse inward. Now it's time to start the workout. You are gonna start with warming up with two sets of 15 and then you're gonna advance to your working sets. However, I do wanna start by saying that when you do your 15 sets of your squats, I want you to focus on your glutes. I want you to explode from the ground up. Obviously, this is my squat rack and I know my height and I know exactly where everything is. If you are in the gym, I'm gonna advise you to adjust the squat rack to your desired height. Always make sure that the safety bar are placed at an appropriate level to catch the barbell if needed. Warming up set, I want you to either have an empty barbell or a really light weight. This will help you get the use of the weight and also help you with proper form. Focus on control and powerful ascent. These are warming up set. I want you to take short breaks. However, not as if it's a resting period during a workout set. I want you to maintain your heart rate elevated and I want your muscles to stay warm. Always have in mind that you have to be breathing. I want you to be breathing throughout this whole workout. This will increase your flow to your muscles as well as focusing on inhales and exhale to help you calm your nervous system and enhance your mind muscle connection. Finally, always visualize yourself performing a successful squat with excellent form. This can help you improve focus and confidence. If you're one of my clients, you already know I don't train with belts. However, I have been training with a new trainer and he's been teaching me a few tips and just another way of training. So. I'm here just using the knowledge that he has given me to try it with a bell. However, I am going to advise you, if you are a beginner and just one of my clients, as I always say, we will always work on core activation because I really believe when you engage your core with simple exercises as planking, 
or bird dogs, this really helps your core. Having a strong core is essential for maintaining stability during exercises like squats. Work set, I want you to usually rest around two to five minutes for heavy squatting. Depending how heavy you go, the more rest you might need for your next set. I'm gonna be moving to barbell bent over rows. Um, you are gonna be performing four sets of 15 reps. Maintain a neutral spine. Keep your back straight throughout the exercise to avoid unnecessary strain on your lower back. Remember to engage your core. This will help you by protecting your lower back during any movement. Don't let the barbell drop quickly. Lower it with control to maximize the effectiveness of the exercise and reduce the risks of injuries. You can experiment with grip width to target different areas of your back. A wider grip may emphasize the lats, while a narrow grip may target the upper back. Start with a weight that allows you to maintain proper form and progressively increase the weight as you become more comfortable with the exercise. I decided to change the way that I was holding the barbell for the row to an overhand grip. A overhand grip is typically a grip for a barbell row where your palm is facing your body. It engages the lats and mid-muscle back. I'm a fan of big lats as well as big back. Now, the, the reason why I changed my grip is because I was trying to target different muscles. I would suggest if you feel discomfort, try the overhead grip. There's so many different grips. Different grips can place various amount of stress on the wrist, elbows, and shoulders. So changing that can help you find the perfect grip for you. Now we're moving to barbell lunges. First thing I'm gonna tell you is make sure that your upper body is upright, shoulders are back, and also engage your core throughout the entire movement. You are always in control. Take control steps to maintain balance. Avoid rushing through this exercise. Put your body until both knees are bent to a 90 degree angle to ensure full range of motion. I always get questioned about positioning the barbell. The best way that I can describe it is stand facing the barbell and step forward to grab the bar with an overhead grip. The barbell should rest on your upper back across your traps, not your neck. Remember, lunges are a versatile exercise and you can perform variations like walking lunges, forward lunges using a squat rack. Choosing the variation that suits your fitness levels and goals. Right after that, we're gonna move to a narrow squat with elevation within your heels. Two four sets of 15. The right heel can actually assist you with a deeper squat and it's good for anyone who is limited with the ankle mobility. Make sure that your feet is closer together than your typical squat stance. The narrow stand may vary from person to person. However, it's usually narrower than your shoulder width. Make sure that your barbell is on your upper back, resting it across your trap. Make sure that you're pushing through your heels and midfoot to return to the starting position. Engage your quad, hamstring, and glutes. The last quad repetition, bend the hip and knees to lower the barbell back into a safety bar. Make sure that the bar is securely placed on the rack. Remember, I have the rack at home. However, if you are in the gym, safety is a top priority. It's essential to be mindful of your surrounding and others. If you are unsure about the proper use of any equipment, please don't hesitate to ask any trainer on the floor. We're moving to pull-ups. Doing three sets of eight. Using resistant band for pull-up is an effective way to build strength as well as working towards unassisted pull-ups. As your strength improves, you can gradually decrease the assistance provided by the band until you can perform a pull-up without assistance. The trick that I always do is I include other exercises to target my back muscles to complement my pull-up trainings. Move to the conventional barbell deadlift. Five sets of 15 reps. Make sure the barbell is closer to your shin and your toes can be slightly turned out. Now your hips and knees to lower your body and grabs the bar with a grip slightly wider than shoulder width. You can use a double overhand grip or a mixed grip, one palm facing you and the other one facing away. It really depends on your comfort levels. Keep your back straight, chest up and shoulders back. Your spine should be in neutral position. If you are a beginner, begin with a lighter weight to practice your form before gradually increasing the load. Your core tight throughout the entire movement. Focus on hinging at the hip rather than squatting down. The deadlift is a hip dominant movement. You are performing a deadlift. You want to make sure that you're wearing flat, solid shoes to provide stability during your lift. The reason why I added deadlift to this specific workout is because I really want to work your glutes, lower back, upper back, and your core. We provide more information in another video where I focus only on deadlifts. Like 
one move of this workout that you really enjoy and perform until failure. It's time to experiment with different type of grip as well as intensity. We did it guys, it's finally cool down time. Thank you for joining me in this workout. I hope you enjoy these exercises. Remember, a cool down is crucial for your body. It helps bring your heart rate back to normal, preventing stiffness. Include at least 20 seconds of stretching. See you next time and take care of your body. Don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media at MusclePie. And don't forget to send me a DM or any questions that you might have. I'll see you on my next video. Bye. And hopefully I'll have my voice back. I haven't been feeling well. But hey, I'm still here and I'm still showing up for you guys. So see you next time. Bye.